exchange views, exchange opinions, and meet the families of the parents, of the family of the patients, which is very important. And as patients' families, I believe that in the past years, we've really, really worked a lot. We've done all we could in order to support research. And this is obviously aiming at finding the treatment, the ideal treatment for this uh, condition. Uh, we've done uh, fundraising campaigns. We've done all we could. And now I think that we've come to a point where all of us have to stop for a moment, look at what we've done in past years, and we have to understand whether the strategies we've uh, developed until now are still effective and will still be effective for future years. And I would like to say that in the field of this conference and its organization, together with Alessandro Ricci, who's our scientific consultant, many of you already know him, we started wondering about a number of things. We started um, asking ourselves a few things. I, I know that he will say something in the first person when he will make his own presentation. And this is aiming at understanding whether our efforts, your efforts, are sort of getting lost, are thinning down, are sort of uh, going in the right direction. So we would like to take stock of the situation and we would like to sort of make a quantum leap uh, as patients' families, as an association, and we would like to become what today is known as the well-informed patient. So we want to equip ourselves with the tools that uh, allow us to get new insights, to exchange views in uh, a knowledgeable way with all of you, and when the moment will come, uh, be in a position of orienting research. So this is what we will be discussing today till the end of the day, probably, and this is what I hope. So whatever suggestion you have, it's welcome. And our goal is the one of starting reasoning already from the beginning of next year, reasoning about our own role and uh, reasoning about what we can still do. No, no more comments. I would like just to take a few more seconds to acknowledge all of the people who are here. I would like to acknowledge the eCampus University which is um, hosting us uh, and supporting us in all ways. I would like to thank all of the parents and the relatives and aunts of uh, the patients, the little girls suffering from PCDH19, who strongly helped me and supported me. Paola Squillante, Valeria Squillante, ne Mrs. Neri, Mauro Di Giovanni, Raffaele Mannella and Fabrizio Mistretta. So many thanks to all of you, many thanks to Alessandro Ricci, the consultant, uh, the scientific consultant, who was of paramount importance. He played a paramount role, a very fundamental role in the past months, helping us to organize this event. I would like to thank all of you who are here, the scholars, the families who have been traveling from far away places uh, and had to invest money to do so. I would like to thank Emma, my daughter, because in the moments, the difficult moments, she's always the one who allows me to go back to the main reason why we're here in order to try and find the appropriate uh, therapy to treat this uh, disease. So this is the reason why it's worth the while doing and making all efforts. 